bring the Prisona to me at once. Bring him to me. Bring him to me, Rico. Bernanke. Humaniac. Fanny Mae. Freddy Mac. Lehman and the Merrill buyout. Have you lost your fucking mind? No, no, my doctor. Everything is proceeding according to my plan. No ill of the talking. It is time for you to meet your marker. Kill him, kill him, it's in slow. Silly Fed, the harder you attack, the stronger we become. <laughs> You bet your ass is not. Are you okay? I'll be fine, but we don't have a second to lose. What do you mean? Bernanke and his cronies are hell-bent on destroying the US economy. I fear we don't have long. We have to alert the media. Yes, but we will also need allies in this fight. What do you have in mind? I will head to New York to warn the people. Meanwhile, you head to Texas and talk with our friend. Our friend? You don't mean? Yes, I do. Look. We need guns, and we need people to use them. Jones may be a fool, but he is a useful fool right now. Ron, you are making me nervous. You sound like you are preparing for a full-fledged civil war. God forbid. I am only suggesting that we prepare to defend ourselves. Please, head to Texas. We don't have a moment to lose. So be it. Please, take care of yourself, Ron. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have terrible news. It seems the prisoner has escaped. Bloody hell, are you sure? Yes, sir. I just got off the phone with Bernanke. Then he's already on the way here. Deploy the Hannity bots at once. Let's make sure to give Dr. Paul a warm welcome. Choose your destiny. Flawless victory. Choose your destiny. Flawless victory. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Are you going to let me on TV now, or do I have to stick my foot up your ass? In retrospect, I probably should have given the Hannity but some form of weapon. Congressman Paul, if we don't do anything, if we don't pass this $700 billion, whatever number it ends up being, um, what about the risks to the financial system? Forget inflation. What about deflation, for example? Well, I think the risk would be less uh, because I think what they're doing now is creating a situation where every single person in this country is going to suffer with uh, a dollar depreciation. Uh, that means the savings of every person. Today, the risk is Wall Street buying up assets that have no value. They say they call them illiquid. Well, they're illiquid because nobody wants them. Let the price go down and find out what's valuable and let people buy them. I mean, uh, Lehman Brothers got taken care of, so treat it like Lehman Brothers. That's how AIG should have been taken care of. But uh, this whole idea, and they threaten us, and they say, well, if you don't vote for this, things are going to be much worse. Well, they don't know. They could be much worse if we do vote for this because we're perpetuating a system that's coming to an end. <laughs>